Hey guys, welcome to a new series I'm going to do how to. It's going to be all to do with PUBG and how to win chicken dinners based on different maps within the game. First, we've got Sanok. I know I've done this in the past, but it's a personal favorite of mine, especially for solos. It's something fun. It's not a competitive map. It's just fun, full of action. And I'm going to show you how to work this map, how to play around it, and how to find kills whilst securing that winner winner chicken dinner. So if you like what you see, hit the sub button, hit the like, leave a comment of what map you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. <clears throat> Alright, so we got loads going Pinan. I'm not really seeing too much... Coming towards me, a bunch of people going boot camp. Uh, we might have one or two landing near us, but absolutely not a problem. Alright, so we're going to land like just away from boot camp. Now, ooh, oh, a late lander. Make sure you know how to land because like these new guys, if you don't know the fastest way to land, then it's going to be so tricky. Uh, for you to actually, you know, gain a foothold. Like, I get two free kills right there. Simply because they didn't know how to parachute. Didn't know how to get to their location quickly, so. Doing that and being faster than everyone else is a huge plus. It will just make your life so much easier. So right now we have one gear. Like, that's absolutely fine. As long as you've got a vest, as long as you've got a helmet, you are going to be absolutely fine. Uh, obviously, we want to look to get that level 2. Um, as fast as possible. So the reason for dropping away from boot camp is because I'm not trying to play this as a high tier player. I'm trying to just show you exactly the best techniques to winning a solo battle royale match. So there we go. We've got the helmet level two. We will take the vertical foregrip for the vector. Although we're looking to swap that vector out. Hopefully we'll uh, use a DMR. SMGs are very strong though. I'm just not trying to use them or abuse them for the purpose of this video so already 75 left there's somebody right me that i didn't see drop he's got an ump so we just need to be careful but that should have absolutely just smashed his helmet into pieces vect is so dangerous close range so open the door we'll stand to the left bit of a messy fight but i don't want to give this guy much. so we just run in and uh yeah she had a three vest so that was going to save him quite a lot but nice we got rid of him we're going to pop the painkiller very quickly a lot more sevens in here we'll continue to look for that sort of sniper slash dmr just heard one pop over to our left so we could probably go hunt him and then we can probably see our way over to uh, boot camp. Now, usually the winner of boot camp is going to be a dangerous player. So going towards boot camp uh, can end your game very quickly. It's where I normally land purely because it's hot and it's hot where a lot of the other top players land just because they like to get a lot of action. And usually if you win boot camp, you can go on to win the game unless you get unlucky. Right now we are twoed up. So we have the two bag, the two vests and the two helm. And we're looking for this player with a DMR, but I think I've just spotted him inside this uh, shack. And uh, he'll more than likely be making his way across the street, as he is. He is a really fortunate diamond with looking at me, but it's actually really unfortunate. As we uh, get some nice shots on there, so we can now just pick up the SKS. We'll get rid of that vector. Again, we have got sevens to be able to do it we had the 4x prepared ready for the long range and also the vertical foregrip which we don't need with the ak so the ak uh with a sks pairing is actually really good so i like to go akm and sks or barrel and slr because then you're not having to look for like two vertical foregrips and it makes your whole life a lot easier when you're looting So now we're going to make our rotation towards boot camp and try and mop up anything 
a lot of people, uh, including myself, don't always expect somebody to rotate in late to boot camp. It can catch you off guard pretty quickly. And you can always hear shots. Make sure you're always crossing on this part of the lake, though, because then you don't have to swim, and it makes you a lot less vulnerable, just in case anybody is creeping and crawling. So now we're in pretty good shape. We've got first aids, we've got ammo. We could do with, like, grenades or utility, but uh, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Obviously, in TPP, nades are king, uh, because you can sort of see everything that's going on in front of you but we're gonna have a little look around boot camp right now and just see how it's played out you can see everything's looted so you kind of don't know the feel or don't know where somebody could be usually before long people will start to uh show themselves and you just pick them off we saw he was aiming towards the left obviously he was aiming miss shots but it's okay absolutely fine sometimes you just have to get your hands dirty and we hit some nice shots there so all good and uh, that could be very well the rest of boot camp sort of folded up put to bed so realistically with very little effort we've actually dealt with the entirety of boot camp there might be still one or two stragglers you gotta be careful for those players sort of playing it slow just getting ready to catch you off guard the little rats of the community that uh they're playing their way we're just playing that moderate aggression game where we're just taking note and just getting rid of things that we need to get rid of which is right now we're just dealing with boot camp we're up to six kills so obviously for me this is probably a slow game i didn't land boot camp and try and get like five off the rip but as a methodical game for trying to build up your win percentage or make it to the end game more often you know we're already down to 40 alive and we've been fairly comfortable we've not really been shot too much there we get the ak compensator which is very nice we always need that for the ak because it's very bouncy uh but it's uh, a lot more manageable than the barrel so we stick with it it's actually my favorite ar right now uh, but when the 16.1 patch comes uh, soon, it looks like we'll probably be switching to the M4. As I think the M4 will be king, but I'm going to do a whole different video about that. So we'll see when that happens. Right now, only 40 more alive. We kind of cleaned up boot camp. So we're going to leave here. And we're going to try and play this area, which is a hilly area. It can be quite awkward to defend. But also very nice. You can get shot from many angles. But it will draw players out. And we can look to see how we want to play the position. Also, anybody coming from Paradise. Uh, maybe even further beyond boot camp. They will all have to come this way. And it's uh, it's a pretty bad rotation. So if we can get across here early. Uh, that would be great. Also, if you're watching this and you enjoyed this type of content. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it as I'm running across this bridge. Booyah. Um, if you guys do like this type of content, I will try and to do some more of these videos where I kind of just speak um, on an offline recording and basically just describe what I'm thinking, how I play the game. Obviously on stream, I'm just being a bit more wacky and uh, just having fun. But sometimes people just like to know what's inside my head when I'm playing, what I'm not talking about. And how you pick up those uh, winner winner chicken dinners, you know, more often. Obviously, skill is a big part of it. But having the right strategy to go into it rather than going in blind uh, can always help. So we just see somebody way out in the distance there. We're not going to take shots because we're just going to give away our position. If this is squads, you can take shots, right? But in solos, you really want to be striking when you know you can get that kill. Some absolute abysmal shots there, but uh, he's not going to be able to turn that bike very well. I must remind you, this is actually first game on. So uh, I know excuses, excuses, but uh, my hands are very cold right now. <laughs> but it's fine. We're not looking to build up a crazy winner-winner with 20 plus kills. 
If the kills come, they do. Uh, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for that winning strategy. So right now, we're just going to patrol edge. And again, we're hearing everybody else shout in front of us. Which is great, because it's giving us that information. There's actually a player on the right there. Which, uh, he nearly caught us off guard. He was camping uh, in this little corner. Vector does hurt. Now, I don't know if that's the actual player we originally saw. So, we got to have our wits about us here. And just slow this down. We'll hover over the loot. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch to the suppressor. Like I said, it is solos. So, you know, people are playing uh, a little bit more ratty than in squads or duos. Duos is pretty much glorified solos anyway. But now we're hearing more shots. People sometimes don't like to kill players. And they like to keep under the radar. Now, my ideology is kill players uh, because it's going to make the future end game so much easier for you. So right there, we saw the guy in the water wasn't a threat. Obviously, the guy with the body was a threat. And it's literally taking out your opponents in order of threat. So if you're not being shot at, you have three picks. So I take the guy out of the sniper. The guy in the water was pretty much one shot. So I knew I could win a 1v1 pretty easily. He was actually one shot. So that's very fortunate for us because we missed a ton of shots there. But we still get the job done. And you see how quickly, just by playing the edge and just playing zone, we can uh, just rack up those kills as everybody else does the dirty work for us. We just sort of roam around, mop up, and uh, get the job done. There's definitely going to be more people over that way. We've got to keep um, track of that and make sure nobody's sort of crossing over, playing these bridges, because especially in third person, it's tough. So as I was saying, just, we took out the guy with the sniper. Then we knew the guy in the lake was weak. So as we went to go look for the guy in the lake, we were scanning everywhere else with our, you know, with our eyes. You've got to look everywhere. And uh, we saw somebody else was looking there. So although, yes, we knew that guy was underneath us, we knew he was no real threat. He was one shot. He had a one lid. We hit him with the DMR. So he was he was donezo at that point. He was, he was already dead. He just didn't know it yet. Um... And then, of course, uh, we saw that guy just on the bridge that we just sat there that we just dispatched off pretty quickly. The guy rolls up in a vehicle. Uh, I'm not sure he's actually got a helmet on. Um, he might be a freebie for someone, but because I don't know what's really around me right now, we'll just take it easy. We won't spam too much of him. Uh, a lot of people will just take shots at anything. And it's all about not being scared of players, just being smart. And uh, he's, he's just riding around. So now, you know, if I was good, I could actually kill him. Somehow he just dies off that shot as well. Again, cold hands. Don't hate. Don't hate. I know you're going to be in the comment section. Don't hate. Uh, so we get rid of him. There will be players that just do not know what they're doing. They're not probably playing for a dub. They're just playing for have fun. And that was that for fun player out over there. Alright, so this guy's playing pretty much crouch walk. Crouch walk players mean that they're going to be playing a lot hella slow because they're scared. As soon as you shoot at them, they will just disperse. I just cannot get this SKS right today, which is absolutely fine. Again, sent him on his way. He knows we're here. It's not always a bad thing. We're down to 20 alive and there's so much zone to play with. So don't be scared to sort of open up. If there's like 30 to 40 people alive in this circle, maybe play a bit tight. But usually in a public game, uh, there's not going to be too many. We've already dealt with 12 players. And uh, yeah, there's only 17 of us alive right now. So don't be too worried. I haven't even stepped foot in a vehicle. You don't need to on Sandhawk. Sandhawk plays slightly differently to other maps. You don't need vehicles to get around. You kind of just have to patrol your area on foot. Listen for those footsteps. People creeping up on you. 
I'm just making sure nobody gets a clean uh, line of sight on you. Oh my word, my SKS is absolutely awful. Hell, I haven't used this gun in a little while. But it's fine, he's on edge. Uh, we are silenced up, which is always nice. Yeah, that was a headshot. Again, silenced, he has no idea. We're shooting from 200 meters. I probably shouldn't be too harsh on myself, but she's probably hitting those shots anyway. We're up to 13 kills. And uh, this is a little bit tricky. Uh, the zone actually shifted across to the right hand side of the map. Uh, I say right hand side, the left hand side is very small. I kind of divide it by this big river. You just see where my cursor moves. I kind of just decide that's half and half of the map, even though I know one side's bigger than the other, but it's fine. So we're actually going to have to cross over. It's not as bad as it used to be. Ever, like old Sanok used to have to swim, and uh, it was pretty awful to try and play. But now uh, it's not too bad. 15 alive. So these buildings are critical to winning this game right now. If you can control these, uh, you know, you, you can win this game pretty easily from here. Uh, somebody with a bit of spice tried to roll up, but uh, some nice shots there. Like you say, if you can control it early, you win games. It's all about knowing where you need to be. Even if it's 10 to 15 seconds before your opponent, that can be the difference between winning and losing a game. If they get there before and they can start listening for your footsteps, they set up for the fight and you don't. They catch you off guard, especially in third person. They set up for the fight and basically that's you out. But the fact that we've got here, nobody's wandering to this side of the map, right? Nobody's like coming all the way over. It is the three crate. I don't know if this guy had a three helmet on it. It doesn't look like he did. He has a two helmet. There's a death box on the crate. So we're just going to leave it. We're going to assume three helmets gone. That is that is king in solos. This guy actually has three armor. We've got some big shots there. We've got another player over here. Oh, that's a nice shot there. That was a lovely little shot. I'm getting the hang of this SKS again. Some big shots landed. So we got pressure on this guy. I'm pretty sure when I scoped in, he had a Grozer. He does. But also on his back, he has a car 9 So we don't want to be giving him too much. Because he can just instantly one-bang us. So you see how I'm just like shooting the odd bullet. We have position, so we don't need to force a fire. We don't need to get anything seriously done here. Um... We got a guy on a rock over there far. Okay, now he's got his uh, canine away. We can just sit still. You can just sit still, crouch, and get ready to just put the beams on, right? Fight on the bridge just died. And we know he got killed by that rock guy. But we don't need to get um, really aggressive. Again, we can just sit. Uh, cheat pad right there. That's a nice little find. Somebody's running under the bridge. We are silenced, but again, missed some shots. This is fine. Nobody's going to be like creeping on this left side now. Or at least they shouldn't be. Kind of have to play odds. He didn't even bother about moving. He wasn't trying to look for us. Silencer can mess with a lot of players, especially casual players, because a lot of players don't even rock headsets in uh, console PUBG. And you can really tell that guy just had no idea where he's being shot from. So now we have 17 kills and it's not like we've really been searching for people. We've just been putting ourselves in the right position. We're not been too aggressive. Just been patrolling our zone and playing our game, right? So now we're just going to have to wait. This is where the game is really going to slow down because we've done so much damage to the lobby. It's given us a lot of freedom and a lot less rat potential. And look where our zone is. Where the road is, is a lot of dead ground. So those shots are actually on our right. So we need to get over here and see if we can uh, sort of patrol this. I don't know if you can actually get onto this roof. You can. But this is going to be where we're going to sort of stick our head over the top. And uh, we might be able to see. Okay, so that's where the player is. All the way down there. Big first shot there. 
This is where we can sort of get aggressive. We've got the health advantage right now by the first shot. Unless he has a med kit, we have to assume we have health advantage. So this is where I want to get aggressive. I don't want anybody... Little hop to the side. He's hurt. We definitely have the advantage. So when he peeks, we have, you know, everything. Everything all over him. He has no chance. We're the aggressor. We're making him force into bad plays, bad mistakes. Places he doesn't want to fight. So he's going from tree to tree and we just... With the clean aggressor and he has to make up his mind. Is he going to try and hide? Is he going to try and heal? And here's the last guy. He's gone on. Very dangerous. This is everything. And uh, we just didn't really have to move from a spot. And that is a 19 kill. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. First game on. And that is how to win on Sandhawk. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. There's a 19 kill winner winner chicken dinner. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time for more.